It was guys, about too much. I don't know what me. And yeah, so let's talk about the news. Um, so Nintendo had a direct that is dedicated for Animal Crossing Horizon. Uh, so they revealed DLCs and shit. I don't know what this all means, so <laughs> don't look at me like, oh, they got this and they finally got this. No, I I don't play the game. My brother does. <laughs> he 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 loves that shit. All right, I I don't even touch it. Like. After, after like, a few days, when he started making his decisions on what the island should look like, I stopped arguing and just, and I'm like, ah, fuck it, he can do whatever the fuck he wants in that island. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I stopped playing that game. But, um, yeah, they have new DLCs, but in this Direct, they revealed that there's gonna be another option for nintendo online so it's called nintendo switch online expansion pack so it comes with the animal crossing dlc that i don't know of and emulators for the nintendo 64 and sega genesis and it's gonna cost an additional 15 dollars so for the individual membership for one year will cost 49 dollars and for the family membership that will cost 79 dollars for a year yeah <laughs> this is bullshit. Uh, why? Why? Why, Nintendo? <laughs> why? Now, I'm not mad about the Animal Crossing because, you know, that's like a bundled with the membership. You know, I, I hope that's a, like a one-time purchase. It's not saying, oh, you know, you can either pay for it one time or you can pay for it, for it monthly. I, I don't know, all right? But I think it's just a one-time purchase, you know? But why does it cost an extra $15 for... The freaking ROMs for Nintendo Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis. Like, like they, they I don't know if Nintendo knows this, but, you know, but you can play that for free. <laughs> like, I could do it right now. I just don't want to play any of those, those old-ass games. But, you know, eventually, Nintendo is going to find a way to just kill every ROM software out there and destroy anybody's life for making a ROM. <laughs> but, yeah, like... This is just bullshit. Like, why does it cost extra? Like, that should be an additional, another reason why you should get, you know, the regular uh, Nintendo Switch Online. Like, that shouldn't even be an option. Like, I should be able to just, to just buy it straight up. Like, why do I have to pay for monthly? Like, uh, why don't I, why couldn't I just buy the ROMs from you guys and that's it? Why do I have to pay it annually like it's a game as a service? Like, I know, you know, you guys add more games and, you know, update it and all that shit. If you, if you want to do that, why don't you just pay, let me pay it as, like, some type of season pass, you know? Like, whatever games come out this year, you get it. But the new games that come out next year, you have to pay for that. It's like, alright, I understand. Or, just like what I said earlier, like, why couldn't you just put it in the standard version of the membership, you know? Like, why do I have to pay an additional just to play the other games? Like, you should put it in the standard version just so I have more reasons to stay in the membership and keep paying. You know, like, like Nintendo Online, there is no reason to get one, all right? <laughs> I'm telling you from a guy who has it, all right? I pay for it. It is bullshit. Like, Nintendo doesn't have much options for multiplayer. Like, yeah, there's Splatoon, but, like, fucking A. I'm, I'm still waiting for that game to go on sale. Uh, like, not $10 off. I'm talking about at least 20 <laughs> for a game that's been out for, like, I don't know, four years, you know? Like, it's a four-year-old game. God damn, can I, can I get a discount? A good discount? <laughs> so, yeah, this is just dumb. Like, why spend more money on something that is already free somewhere else? I'm not going to tell you specifically where, but, you know, you can find it. And also, why can I just, you know, just buy it? Why can't I just buy it and, you know, have it forever? And I have to pay, like, an annual fee for it. Like, it's just, it's just shrimp dumb. And also, overall, why do we have to pay online? Like, that's an overall thing I find, you know, very stupid. Like, you know, like, PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live... That's just dumb too, but at least Xbox Live and PlayStation, you know, they give out free games and, you know, they give, you know, good discounts and shit. I mean, at least they give some stuff, but, you know, on Switch Online, they you, you get nothing. You get, like, these just uh, ROMs for from the NES era. That's about it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know, like, the PC guy just came out of me. Like, yeah, overall, this shit is all dumb, right? <laughs> so, yeah, this all should have been free. So, DC Fan Fist just happened, and I don't really care about most of the things they were announcing, you know. So, all I cared was that, oh, the new Batman trailer is coming out today, 
and it's going to be revealed in that stream. And I was like, all right, I'm not going to watch stream, but, you know, I'm just waiting until IGN or some other, you know, outlet just uploads that trailer. So, uh, yeah, it happened. And let's talk about it. So the first thing I noticed about this trailer is they didn't really show too much detail about the story. Compared to the first one, like, in the first one, you know, we got to know, oh, the, the main villain is the Riddler. Uh, you know, Gordon, you know, he needs Batman to help out. But the Riddler knows who Batman is. So, um, yeah, that you know, it shows out the story. This one, not so much, you know. It, it just more showed off um, more scenes, more action scenes, and, and we got to see more characters like Catwoman and the Penguin. And also, we got more, you know, scenes of Batman being unstable. Like, you know, he's just, like, angry as shit. Catwoman looking in the background like, all right, stop, all right, stop. He's, he's, I think he's dead. <laughs> so, Colin Farrell as the Penguin. So far, I'm liking this interpretation. <laughs> he's, he just, he sounds like an Italian gangster. Like, previously, he just talked like, you know, sound, sounded like what a, what a guy with a penguin accent would talk like, you know? <laughs> You're like, Wah! like, you know, that shit. But uh, this time, it just sounds like a New York accent, you know? Um, it. I'm hoping this isn't going to be like some intro shit where, oh, this is Batman's, you know, first um, big encounter of a villain. And, you know, it, you know, he fights him, and then, you know, when the car flips, bam, the intro. You know, that was the intro, and then we never see the Penguin again. I hope we see more of him. I hope he's not just, you know, that intro. So, we see more action in this trailer for the Batmobile, and I'm not really liking it. Like, that car, I, I I don't really believe it could, like, go through anything. Like, from the last Batman movie, you know, that Batman, that Batmobile, you know, that was basically a tank. You know, that looked heavy as shit. Like, it can make a wall wherever it wants. This one, it just looks like a regular car. You see it go through a, a brick or something. I don't know what that was. And then a truck, too. It's like, no, I, I don't believe it. Like, if he would have done that with that car... You know, he would have crashed and he probably would have died or get a concussion, you know? But yeah, overall, this is a well-put trailer. You know, it, they, they got action. It got great cinematography. It's showing off. You know, I, I'm loving it so far. Just slightly disappointed because it doesn't really show too much of the story. Like, just a little, just little bits. I, I'm not talking about, like, give us an essay. I'm just saying, like, maybe a little hint of what. But I understand why. It's because this movie is actually coming pretty soon it's coming at march uh something i forgot but yeah you know i i was expecting this was going to be released next year of you know somewhere in october november but no nah, this is this is pretty close to you know <laughs> right now all right so speaking of dc so uh superman's son is gay a lot of there, there was a few people that were mad about it or just you know like pretending like oh this doesn't make sense it's like who cares I, I, I didn't really care if, you know, his son was gay. I understood, you know, people were like, wait a minute, Superman's gay? Because some articles were just straight up saying, oh, Superman gay? <laughs> Actually, no, I take that back. I meant to say bisexual, not gay. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, like, I didn't really care. Now, I would understand the anger if he was uh, Superman, but not really. Like, I would say, all right, yeah, I mean, you know, because Louis Lane is a big part of Superman. She, Jesus Christ. Like... Lois Lane is right next to Kryptonite for Superman, you know? Uh, like, whenever something happens to her, oh, it's always a plot armor. It's always, it's always something about the, about the plots and shit, you know? So, yeah, I would have understood that. But, you know, his son, you know, who gives a shit? Like, there's a lot of people that are bi out there. A uh, surprising amount. <laughs> like, like, when you go on Twitter and <laughs> you see a lot of people, you know, liking or retweeting or saying, Oh, fuck, I love femboys. And then there's some people that comment like, oh, you, you know he's a boy. It's like, look at my Twitter. Look, look at all the likes. Look at the people I follow. Do you think I'd give a fuck if that person had a dick? All right, so the day after that tweet, uh, there was another tweet where they showed off Superman and Aquaman and a bunch of other people uh, protesting. And the protest was about climate change. So you got Superman. I, I don't know his actual name. Superman's son. Uh, saying a school strike for climate, climate justice. Uh, there's no planet B. Um, this part, you know, I'm just like, uh... <laughs> like, all right. I I don't know how capable his son is. Like, is he as powerful as his dad? You know, Superman's uh son. But you know, either way, we still have Superman. 
which he could probably help with humanity trying to find, you know, a planet, the second planet that humans can live on, you know, that could probably help. But uh, no, he, he just wants to strike instead of actually doing stuff. Like, it's it feels so pretentious because the people who wrote this, they're not trying to make a story about climate change. They're just making a story where they say they're against climate change. Like, why not tell us a story where Superman is trying to save the planet, but the obstacle is humans themselves? It feels like fake activism, you know, like it, it doesn't feel like, oh, you don't you're not really trying to change the planet or trying to change the world. You just want to have the clout and feel like you're actually doing it because